Hello, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. Today I'm going to be highlighting the Tier 9 German uh, battle, fast battle cruiser, uh, the Admiral Schroeder. This is going to be a live commentary coverage because it is indeed Friday today when I'm recording this video. Um, I slept in a bit, so <laughs> it was needed. Had a long week. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight some specific things on ship real quick, uh, and then we're going to go into battle. So, um, so German fast battle cruiser, um, good main battery guns, um, and then her secondaries are awesome. Uh, so she has 128 millimeter secondaries. Um, right now, it's, we can extend this out to 95. Uh, then 150 millimeter secondaries uh, with 95, uh, 5.9 second reload uh, for the 150s, 3.1 second reload for the um, 128s with the 305 millimeter guns, uh, which are actually pretty nice um, from my, my playing of the ship so far, which I kind of did a little bit more during. Um, I don't even remember what the uh, dirigible derby airship escort uh, when I played was messing around with the ship a bit more. Um, but besides that, uh, in terms of armor layouts, uh, 27 millimeter nose and uh, stern. You can see the casemate armor, 90 millimeter, which goes down to the armor belt of 190, which goes down to torpedo protection, 190, uh, and then 27, so like deep water torps uh, wrecked <laughs> uh, type of thing. So we peel these things away to look at the citadel armor. It's above waterline. Uh, it's 45 millimeter, so you do have a vulnerable broadside uh, with this cruiser, so you have to be mindful um, in trying to angle uh, as, as much as possible. It's also nice that they beefed up the armor on the deck, uh, 30 millimeter in the midsection. So uh, here you can see what I'm running. Um, this is almost a full secondary build. Uh, if I run this, then my secondaries will shoot up to uh, 10 kilometer uh, secondaries. Um, a full-on secondary build, and I'll, we'll take a brief glimpse at uh, Gunther Luchens and then we're going to go into the battle, uh, would be if I picked up Auxiliary Armaments Modification 2. Uh, the secondary battery load time, we do get a buff on that, uh, negative 20%. Uh, so then your secondaries are even more deadly, um, and then you have an AA buff. Um, but I've gone for the main battery modification 3, uh, main battery reload time, negative 12%, main battery traverse speed, negative 13%. Um, so... We'll talk probably a little bit more about this uh, when we dive in. I think in brawling modes, uh, game modes, the secondary full on can make a lot of sense, but in randoms, it may depend on battle to battle. Uh, so this is what I would run in terms of the combat signals. Yeah, something like this. So extending our hydro time, heal, uh, we're picking up our speed, which uh, at the base is 32.5 with Sierra Mike flag, 34.1 before we take in the 15% uh, engine boost into account. Ram, uh, we don't want to detonate secondaries, reducing the fire uh, time, fire duration time and the flooding duration time. And then with Gunther Luchens, a full 21 point build, um, this would be, um, this would be the build I, I feel very comfortable in running on this ship. Um, but there'll be some things I could talk more about that build probably um, in tomorrow's video, uh, upgrading commander build. And then there's some uh, different camouflages here. So you can have the war paints. Uh, you can have this, which I'm not a big fan of the brown. It kind of looks like uh, a giant turd, <laughs> if you will. So I like running the blue. So now we're gonna go into randoms and hopefully within the game or two, we can find uh, a decent clip to show off uh, the ship's characteristics, uh, strengths, and weaknesses. Okay, so here we are, uh, Sea of Fortune Domination Mode. Uh, first thing we're looking for is, well, now that I'm doing is aircraft carriers and submarines, uh, the Graf Zeppelin. Uh, our AA on Schroeder is like average, uh, probably is what I would say. I don't know if you can actually give me, yeah, 81. Um, only one destroyer, very cruiser and very battleship heavy. So. Um, we knock out the Shima, that would be really nice. I'm not too worried about Graf Zeppelin. And with the Akazuki, so we have the destroyer uh, with us. We have two destroyers? And they only have one. Okay, this is going to be some odd, funky matchmaking because of... Uh, I'm basically recording this video in the dead of 
the morning <laughs> for in a time uh so that'd probably be like uh, i don't know like 5 a.m 5 30 a.m or something like that um so uh, it makes sense that we're gonna kind of get a, a random uh montage of people so we have a schlieffen with us i would really like for the schlieffen to come with me uh let's see if uh he decides to come with us because we could just run up this uh, one two line and possibly get some really good stuff going on in here. So, um, starting off, I'm really trying to pay attention to what is my team doing. Aki's coming this way. Maybe that encourages Shreefin to come this way. Um, CV is. I forgot what he's doing. Alright, we're already getting aimed at. We're gonna play with our speed. Possibly need to get ready to turn in. But they know what we're up to on this flank. I'm scanning the horizon, seeing if there's any shots coming in. I don't think anyone got one off. So, Shifan is going to come this way. So, I would like to try to rely on him if he decides to push with me, but we're just going to have to see. Um, so, I'm really trying to pay attention to my um, allies' positioning here. Um, now this guy, ship does have really good uh, firing angles, in my opinion. Um, it's not too bad, I mean, like this. Uh, let's play on the M key. We're gonna guess. So Conquer, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be interesting for us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and slow my speed down. I wanna see more what's coming here. Um, they have Alaska GK over right there. Get the Prince Organ over here. Um... <laughs> We can go ahead and secondary. Because I think what we're going to do here is... Um, if I get the Schlieffen, he's probably already within Schlieffen's secondary range. We can probably just kite him out. And we don't want to charge in on Prince Organ because he has... Uh, Torps. So I'm just really trying to see what he's going to do here. Right, I'm going to go ahead and, like, ask. I need your support. All stations requesting fire. So when you're in a uh, brawling ship, um, if you have, it's really great when you have enemy ships pushing into you. Uh, you want to be kind of kiting away because when you're in a brawling ship like Schroeder, uh, being able in this kiting position is really awesome. So I'm trying to go wide here, but I'm already angled away slightly. But it looks like Schlieffen's going to charge in, so that's interesting. I'm trying to should have eyes on him in a moment unless he turned in behind the island. Okay, this is Bob. I guess I have to turn in with you a bit. Okay, so he's turning out or reversing back out Okay, it's all right um, We've lost secondary range, so we need to re get uh, back in the secondaries uh, You are sorry, <coughs> sorry Ford Help our Schlieffen out here uh, so one of the things we have going on is the top grade gunner, so our main battery reload time improves when we have a ship within our standard detectability range. So there's Prince Oregon's uh, torps on the way. He's going to probably turn out. We're going to raise the shot slightly. Yeah, that's going to be first blood. So now uh, we really want our Schlieffen to uh, avoid taking damage. Uh, we want him to get back. Because we can't deal with a Conqueror, Minnesota, Stalingrad, and Azuma. Uh, definitely too hot for us. But we did get the... Uh, get the Prince Organ at least. But uh, we don't want... Schlieffen's going to die if he continues to push in. Now someone is targeting us. So we want don't want to show too much broadside here. I'm trying to figure out who is uh, exactly looking at us. It was Stalingrad. So we want to stay angled in until we run up to the island. But we are going to lose Schlieffen in here, so that's a bad trade. Um, that was another reason why I decided that when I saw the Prince Oigen, I wanted to be able to kite. Because if I tried to run around the corner like the Schlieffen did, I, I was going to end up like Schlieffen. Um, you can't sustain the firepower of uh, four ships focusing you. You know, three, uh, two battleships and battle cruiser Stalingrad, and then. I think Azuma is, maybe Azuma is a battle cruiser too. I'm spacing it in my mind right now. Um, so this is not good for us. Um, we're kind of isolated out here alone now, so it probably makes sense if Graf Zeppelin comes for us. 
So we're going to keep the island between us and... I think he's reversing. Uh, island between us and the ships behind us. I think the grass up and trying to get a torque drop on us, so he's trying to line it up. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the throttle. When you have a uh, CV come in and drop torps on you, you want to kill the throttle and turn out. Oftentimes you might be able to turn short of it. The threat I have here in doing this is if there's a like Stalingrad or someone pops a shot over the island. So we're only going to take one torp. We're going to prioritize our A sector again. We're going to re-accelerate and try to uh, break contact a little bit here. And then we have the Minnesota. I feel okay taking on the Minnesota if he comes around the island by himself. Um, I'm hoping my Akazuki gets some spotting off over here. And it will help me kind of dictate what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and prepare to uh, uh, disengage from Minnesota. But I want to keep him within secondary range if I can help it. I just don't know what else is behind him if all those ships are pushing in. Uh, okay. Okay, Stalingrad's guy's coming. That's what I wanted to know. Um, yeah, that's a bit tricky. Why can't we take C? They've killed the Shima. In case. Plane spotting is definitely an issue for us right now because we're not able to do a ton. Um... Conqueror's also coming, so yeah, that was they're going to start pushing re down the one-two line. So it's not good for us, so we really need to start hugging these islands. So I'm already making my um, decision process, how am I going to disengage? Uh, and we're going to kite out like that. I'm going to tell the Zuma to get back. Um, trying to see if we can't illustrate to him to get back, because we're not going to be able to hold these guys off. So we're going to be cheeky and trying to get our first salvo off. So I'm going to turn in slightly. Oh, shoot. Okay, there's down guys' radar, so uh, we're going to go ahead and engine boost, actually. Because he's probably going to have a blue shot. All right, we're going to preemptively heal. If we can really knock this guy out, that'd be great. Okay, got a bit of attention to conquer over here. So that means I'm actually because sound guys coming up this way. I'm gonna turn this way. I want to. Uh, he's got to heal off. It's not surprising. Um, I want to try to stay angled away from these guys. Okay, Minnesota's not interested in going for us, so I'm gonna. Try to get more of my secondaries off and turn a little bit more. Anyway, these guys rear turrets, so. Okay, that was okay. See so if we can get the kill here. Yep. Uh, Conqueror just fired. We're gonna wait. Now I'm gonna do go ahead and DCP that. So this worked out really good for us. It would have been better, I think, if the Stalingrad and the Conqueror would have come down the 1 2 line, because it would have forced me out, like, to keep running and out of this position. Uh, but the fact that they didn't, um, yeah, he's just kind of going to chill there. I think I can get out there without end, yeah. Uh, means that I can actually push in and re-engage. Um, so this is great for us, because a lot of their teams playing pretty far back. That's a nice uh, salvo there, too. So we want to get the next heal off. Um, I think it looks like our zoom is going to turn away and disengage that way. See if, we, see if we can use the corner of this island again, get more shots off on the Conqueror. So we're just going to play it a little passive for the moment. Um, until I get more heal off. So the engine boost uh, is one of the reasons why we, you know, we turn this as a fast battle cruiser. Um, because our speed can be really good. Especially with the engine boost going. Uh, it's quite nice. That's a decent salvo. Um, so you can, it allows you to run up on positions uh, to engage enemy really quickly or if you're needing to disengage uh, quickly. Uh, so that's one of the perks of this in addition to being able to have the uh, Hydro Q6 search um, to deal with enemy ships. So it's the German 
hydro, four kilometer torpedoes, six kilometer on ships, uh, which is quite nice. So we really want to get the conquer out. The sooner the better. So we're gonna keep taking our time here. So he's got his fancy heal off. Um, and I don't, we don't really need to push in against Stalingrad. I think he might be reversing out here. No, he's not. Um, so I don't really need to like go try to throw my ship away just to try to kill him. Doesn't mean I'm not going to take some shots at him because he's broadside to us and Stalingrad has a pretty vulnerable broadside if you aim well. <laughs> okay, they got the Conqueror, so well done. So I'm going to turn in and then I'm going to ping the minimap for my team just like, hey, let's get this guy next. That's kind of the mentality of why I'm pinging. Um, also, being able to keep the islands between us and Stalingrad means that, you know, uh, I get the heals uh, back up and I get the seal off cooldown. Um, our team doesn't need to push. Don't push, just defend. Um, because they can do this counter push into us, and that's not going to be. Uh, we're not going to be able to handle that really well. So, uh, so we, they don't need to. Alright, so we're getting. I'm going to try to utilize the islands here. We get a sneaky shot off on Alaska without being spotted. Um, we're getting close enough that our secondaries can fire over the island on the Stalingrad. Stalingrad's running, his armor scheme's kind of like, good. So I'm not really interested in trying to focus him. Instead, focusing this Alaska would be great. Uh, another battle cruiser. Get to go dark. Our Akazuki's coming back, which means he's going to have line of sight on Alaska. We also have Die bomber's coming, so we're just gonna chill here for a moment. Let's try to keep the island between us and Alaska, so we get to be sneaky with our shots here. So again, this ship really plays around islands, in my opinion, uh, quite well. And you can see, he's got his guns still looking this way, so he wants us. Um, <laughs> so, we have to respect him. Uh, Alaska has the 305mm guns, if I remember correctly, so uh, we're not too... Uh, Trifle with that. I have the Alaska. It's a very nice ship. We might pick up our third kill here. Now CV might come back and focus us. We're kind of isolated here. Uh, so maybe... Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now the other thing I'm not interested in right now... Okay, so Stalingrad we've seen on the minimap. He's disengaged. He's gone that way. So it's okay for me to push up. Um, granted, he could have done a U and come back more over here. But it's going to be game. I was like so focused on the commentary and action of the game. So the team did a really good job controlling caps. Maybe a little ag too aggro at certain points, but uh, definitely kept the enemy team off. Um, so that's going to be 605,000 credits. Uh, first blood, 101,000 damage, um, 86 target hits. And uh, nine aircraft shot down, three destroyed, two set on fires, 71 secondary hits. So we'll look at that secondary damage. Team score, um, we scored fifth on our team, but we picked up the kills. Maybe we didn't do as much damage to those ships, but uh, we did pick up those kills. <clears throat> yeah, they're sound guy, decent to play. Uh. So 15, 1,553 basic SP. Um, yeah, so I mean, it was an insane amount of damage, but um, that's what we did on the three ships that we killed. We did actually more damage to Conqueror. Um, yeah, so that's actually looks like the secondary damage. Uh, 14,700 uh, secondary damage. Uh, we fired 562, uh, 71 of which uh, landed, causing that number of damage um, in two fires. Uh, and those were started by secondaries because I fired AP the entire time. Some aircraft destroyed, so you... I mean, we did okay damage. Uh, let's see, where's our AA damage? 19,800, almost 20,000. So we did decent AA damage to the enemy um, German aircraft carrier, but uh, not high levels. A um, little bit of spotting, uh, potential damage, uh, three-quarter of a million. 
credits and XP, and there you go. So, um, yeah, sorry, I really focused a lot on the battle commentary um, because I have the Ager, um, and for me, this ship it just really kind of sums up uh, the play style of try to utilize islands as much as possible. We can actually hop back to port and then we'll wrap the video up. Um, utilize islands as much as possible. Um, and you saw how many sneaky shots we got off on. The map we had the for Sea of Fortune was, uh, I would say, really good for this ship. Uh, and that particularly that flank uh, works really well for this ship and Schlieffen. Uh, unfortunately, our Schlieffen just overextended. He went around the corner when he didn't need to. Um, so try to help, but uh, we only did as much as we could. Um, so this fast German battle cruiser, this play style, um, brawling ships typically fare best when you play around islands, um, even the, the battleships. Uh, you know, use them to disengage, heal up, uh, re-engage. Maybe you can take some shots over the island. Uh, so we basically uh, thwarted any type of push they were trying to do on the flank. And as they died one by one, you could see they were getting disinterested. Stalingrad's running, Conqueror's running after killing the Prince Eugen in the Minnesota. Uh, so on and so forth. So um, I'm quite happy with the build. I like the fact that I've built uh, into the six slot for the main battery guns, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I'll have to play around with this a little more. Maybe there's another battle I'll feature later on uh, talking more about uh, if I you try to try out utilizing this. Um, but just to have that additional reload time of those nice, we had some nice salvos, you know, five, six, seven K uh, on ships. So um, I like it. So um, with that, being said, as we go back into preview, if you like today's uh, highlights in showcasing um, the Schroeder, uh, give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you subscribe, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. We just broke through 1,300 subscribers. So that's really awesome. Uh, maybe I'll try to do a little something to commemorate the 1,300 subscribers. Uh, I hadn't thought about it much yet because I've been so busy. Um, but we'll try to do something, uh, I think, that I can do for you as a, a thank you. So, um, so until next time, take care.